Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfield Automation. Over the past few weeks I've talked significantly about this BNR Compact Desk Controller that I have right here. I've showed you how to create a new project, how to create a new program, how to troubleshoot it and all that fun stuff. This week we're going to talk about how we add a third party power link device. That third party power link device is going to be our Mac Valve MyIO product. It's a great product that Mac Valves has created that not only communicates over power link, it also can do Ethernet IP, Profinet, Modbus TCP, EtherCAT, all those great protocols. But today we're going to talk about how we would get this thing configured and over PowerLink and communicating with our BNR controller. So let's head over to the workbench and we'll get started on this. All right, guys, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the Mac Valve website. So go ahead and type in an in internet browser, macvalves.com. Once you get here, you'll see this page. Next, we want to go down to Pro Go over to products, scroll down to My 067 field bus, click on that. And then over on the side here, you'll see where it says five protocols, Ethernet IP, Ethercat, Ethercat, PowerLink, Profinet, and Bondbus TCP. Go ahead and click on that. Then scroll down and we want to download a zip file for PowerLink right here. Just click the zip file, it'll begin the download. Save it to this place on your computer. And then once you save it there, you need to unzip it in that same folder. Once you have that done, go into your Automation Studio project where we left off last week and go into Tools and then go to Manage Third-Party Devices. Click on that and then go in and click this Import Field Bus Devices. The file you're looking for is this 0000451 underscore MIO67.xdd. Go ahead and double click on that once you find that and it's going to import it into our project. I've already already done that, so I'm not going to do, do it again. Next, we need to be in the Physical View tab. Go and click on the PowerLink port, and then go over to Search and just enter in MIO. And then you'll see that the MIO slash MI slash O67 comes up. Double click on that. And then what we need to do is we need to configure it. So right click on it, hit Configuration, and then go ahead and hit Turn the module supervised to off and then scroll down and explode channels and we want to go down to the I the device inputs and device outputs first we'll just do the in we'll just do the outputs for now so this is going to be banks of 16 because we're going to be doing a U in so go ahead and just type in this and then what we want to do is we want to just type this over to right and then let's do the same thing for the device input. And it's gonna be the, for the first bank. And then we'll do that as read. And then go ahead and save all. Next, we need to go and create a variable. Let's go in here to global variables and we're gonna enter a new variable and we're gonna name it G valve, G valve bank one. And that and then go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna be a uint. So change it to uint, whoops, uint, just like that. And then go ahead and save all, and then close out of there. Then the last thing we need to do is we need to map the variables, just like we did with the inputs and outputs. So right click on it and click IO mapping, and then double click in the white space, hit the three dots, and then just do the G valve bank one and do the same thing for this bottom one as well. And then do the same thing right there. Go ahead and save all. And there we go, we're all set. Now let's go and make our a simple basic program where we include this. So go and click on your cyclic, and we're gonna add a rung. So go ahead and right click, then hit insert network, then hit a set of contacts. We're gonna have this be sensor one, and then go to a set of output, and then we're gonna do G valve, and we're gonna do a dot, and that's dot zero. That's gonna stand for the first, that dot, after the dot, that's gonna be the first valve in the bank. That's gonna be this valve right here, or this coil on this valve right here. Let's do another network, and we'll name this a set of contacts here, SEN, and this will be sensor two, and then hit the coil again, and then G valve, dot we'll do three go ahead and save all and then transfer the project down 
It's going to build the project. That's exactly what we want to see. And once it's done building it, you're going to get the pop-up that will say transfer. So go right over here and go ahead and click transfer. All right, it transferred down. Now let's go and see if it works. So I'm going to do sensor one. And sure enough, that coil on this valve went true. It's hard to see, but it's red. Sensor two is tied to this one right here. So you can see it's working. It's a really powerful product from Mac. All you need is a ethernet cable, a power link cable going from the power link controller to this power link my IO stack right here. And you can control many valves on this. It's a really powerful product and it's awesome that it can be hooked up into the BNR ecosystem over, net, over Ethernet PowerLink. I hope this video was useful. Next week, we're going to talk a little bit more about PowerLink and we're going to start the conversation on how we get servo spinning. I hope you have a great weekend. And if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. There's plenty of more great information on that if you're looking for info like this. Have a great weekend and stay safe.